Hi, it's Trace from Purple Cats Quilting. Um, I did up a journal cover last night and said I would do a free tutorial on a quilted journal cover. They're really quick and easy. Um, we've got some kits offered on the website. These are great little gifts um, to give to your friends, family. Make one for yourself. So of course last night I had a few scraps. Look at that. Courtney just said, oh look at this scrap basket just from all the line work set we've been cutting. Look at it. So that's where I took my pieces from. But we're going to sell you um, these little kits. And so we call this one the friendship one. It's in black and white. We've got that beautiful print, that friendship panel print. So you'll get a random piece of friendship panel and you'll get random um, cuts of tulip pink line work to make one of these. So it's like a journal cover. Look at I got my little skunky poo on there and I used a little bit of wide back. So every kit's going to be different, but it will include You'll get a book, you'll get the piece of the words here, then you also will get the backing and we're going to talk about how we do this. You're going to get a piece of backing, it's just like a linen or a light piece, something to quilt onto. You're going to get that and you'll get your Thermalam fleece and we're going to talk about how to do that. So those kits with the fabric will be $12.50 and they're on the website right now. I've got a few of them. And so there's the black and white one that has the line works and the friendship. And then there's also going to be one called Christmas Baking. And these are, I actually pulled these out of the back. These are um, a class that we did last year um, on the weekend. So I'm showing you how to do it for free and we're selling the little kits. Um, and so the other one that we have is a little cooking one. And so it's really cute. It's Kimber Bell. And we're going to just put a selection of Christmas fabrics. Courtney went and cut a whole bunch of random Christmas fabrics. So again, everyone will be unique and different. And you'll get the kit where you get the book. You'll get your word fabric, your random Christmas fabrics, your batting, and the backing to quilt it onto. And we're going to show you how to do it really quick. So again, this cooking one is really cute because now you've got this cute little journal that you can put recipes in. So you could put your favorite recipe on the front to Courtney, love mom, here's my favorite cookie recipe, you know, or something like that. I like, I use mine for a journal. I actually would take mine to classes and um, take notes and stuff like that in them. I made one to be um, an autograph book. And so uh, last couple years of retreats, um, anybody who came to the retreat, I had them do me an autograph, just write me something in there and sign their name and date it. So there's lots of uses for that. So I'm just going to show you quick how to do it in your kit. You will, you will get just a piece of, we use like a, a linen um, just to quilt onto the Thermalam fleece. So we went to the iron and we centered the fleece. It's going to be pre-cut to the size of your journal. If you get a journal and you want to do this at home, what I did is I just laid it out and I traced it around or I measured it. That's how big my fleece is. It's as big as my book. If you've got a smaller journal or a bigger journal, you just trace the outside. You want three inches about on each side and two inches on either side here. So that's how I did it. Because you could cover a photo album. You could cover a little tiny book to make notes. Um, you could have this as like a little guest book or something for an event. So you take your backing material, you put your Thermalam fleece on it, it just irons on, okay? And that's what we're gonna quilt onto. That's our base. So I'm going to do the cooking one today. So I've got that cooking fabric. So you'll get a strip of this fabric. And what I want you to think about when you're doing this is we're quilting onto here, so it's gonna look like that. We're quilting onto here, and I could actually pull this off and show you. See, it just slips on like a book sleeve back in the olden days, right? We used to do that. So when I quilt onto here, this is my top, okay? This is my front. So see, I got the Life is Better with Friends, how I centered that on there. So I kind of look when I'm laying this down because I kind of want it to run across the front of my cover. And I think I even want it to say, we whisk you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to use a salvage. When we were making these last year in classes, 
we use selvages and I love using all different kinds of selvages. So maybe you've got some selvages that you want to just do a whole book cover of selvages. So I put my book inside. This is how I mentally figure out how I'm going to lay my first piece. This is the front cover and I lay this on there. Okay. And then I sneak it out. I open it up. You can pin it if you want, but this is how I'm going to start building. I'm going to sew to this side and this side. It's kind of like the quilt as you go method. So it's going to be lots of fun. So our first piece, so I've got this one here. I could pin it. Let me grab a pin. I could pin it down just on either end. Let a little pin go. And now, hmm, you know, I could lay them out too. I, I know Courtney had them all laid out here earlier just to see how she was going to lay them out. You could, you could um, audition your fabrics is what we call it. What do I want next to what? Maybe I want to put the red and white one next to here. So we'll play around with that a little bit. If you've got some selvages, ooh, that red would look nice there. We got some gray with words. Maybe I want a little bit more words up in the corner. So what our goal is, whoops, wanna flip those around. What our goal is, is to cover this whole background piece, okay? Because we need all of that, we're gonna cover that. So I'm gonna pull this off for a bit. Just, I just wanted to show you how we do it, how we play around. But I think the first one I'm gonna sew on is this red one and I'm gonna sew it onto the top. But like anything we sew, I need to put the right sides together. So I'm put the right sides together. I'm gonna make sure that my fabric covers the background, the backing. And maybe I'll just go pin that before I take it over to the machine. If I'm working right beside my machine, I don't. But this is a quilt as you go technique. It's really nice. So now we go over to the machine. We'll put it in. Now we do a quarter inch seam from one end to the other. So again, scrappy quilts, scrappy book covers. If you know your friend likes Tula Pink, you could cut up a whole bunch of Tula Pink. If you know they like Charlie Harper and those beautiful animals that Charlie Harper prints, you could do up a cover of Charlie Harper. If you know they like orange, like Terry Rowland, you could maybe make her a whole book cover of orange. So it's nice, it's something you can personalize a gift. Homemade gifts are lovely, they come from the heart. We are actually gonna do a series of little tiny gift giving ideas. Tomorrow will be the box bag. And I know we've talked about it a bit before, but we're just gonna keep doing little gift ideas for you. So I'm just pressing that, cause you know me, I like to press. And then I'm going to press it away. And this is like the quilt as you go. Just like the placemats and stuff. So see, it's already quilted through my batting. We get some nice, a nice quilty look to it. So I think I'm going to go with my sparkly red next. So that's, that's going to go there. So if you get confused about which way it's going to run, Just lay it down the way it's going to look and then put right sides together. Okay. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick it up now. Go back to the machine. And I could pin it. And I'm just going to sew that quarter inch seam again. It's really lots of fun with selvages. I did up a couple books with all my Tula Pink selvages and they were so cute. It's a good way to keep them. Keep them for yourself. Put your quilting notes in there. You could make little books up for your grandkids. If they like dinosaurs, put a piece of dinosaur fabric as that feature fabric and then put a bunch of colored fabric. If they like Pokemon, like Courtney, you could do some Pokemon fabric. 
fabric. Probably a few Star Wars fans out there. We've got Star Wars fabric coming in in December. It's an estimated date. So again, I'm pressing it and pressing it up away from the piece I just sewed it to. And we can use thin pieces. It's fun changing the width. It's fun changing the width of the fabrics. I love this one because it's got all the, look at this was the whisk, We Whisk You Merry Christmas. It had all of the cute little things. So again, I'm going to put that one next. Although I don't know. See, this is going to be the front of the cover, remember? So maybe I want it on the front. What do you think? I like that. So I'm going to try and get, I want these words in here. So I'm going to do, here's something else you can do. I want those words. I want that selvage in there. So I'm going to slide that under. I know that I'm changing it on here, but you know, we always have ways of doing this. That selvage won't fray. The selvage won't fray, so I could just top stitch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this one under there. I'm going to put it under about a half an inch. I'm changing it up a little bit, but I'm going to still have stitch there, but I want my selvage to show. It's really cute. And maybe even look at this salvage. I should have had this. I'm going to have to save this. Because isn't that cute? That would have been cute on there too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over. And I'm going to stitch it here. I'm going to stitch just here so that I catch the second one and I catch my salvage edge. My salvage edge is tightly woven so it's never going to fray. But I really, really want it to show. I did that a lot with my Tula paint because I wanted those selvages to show. And I could do a quarter inch seam here, but this works really cute too. I've, I've done this before. So as you get sewing a few more, you might think of some neat ideas. I really wish I would have got that little spoon and whisk in there because I love selvages. They make, make such cute ones. So then I don't have to press that one back. All I'm really doing is just pressing it flat. But I really like that I got that in there. What do you think? That's cool, hey? So then all we're going to do is I'm just going to sew the next few pieces of fabric in here. And Courtney cut me. Oh, look at this polka dot one. That's cute. Probably put that one there. Put this one up here. I got a gray, maybe. That gray's pretty. And it's got little gingerbread men on it. So the thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to just go and sew a bunch of these now in a row. And I'm just trimming them off, making sure that I'm making them as big as the background, okay? Once we get up to the corner, it gets a little bit smaller. the edge of your strips because it does get smaller in the corner and that one's going to be big enough yeah okay so I'm just going to go again the next one it's right sides together sew it press right sides together sew it press okay so then we make our big sheet then what we do with our sheet as you can see here is we trim off the edges so afterwards, I would turn it over. I have it all on there. And I'm going to just trim off the excess the same size as my background. Okay, so we've got it all quilted. We trim off the edges. And it'll look a lot like this. So now, again, I'm, I'm just telling you how to do it so that you can do it with any size of book. You're going to lay your book onto your background. And you could take a marker or a pen or anything and you could go around there. We know what size ours is because we've already got our batting that size, right? So it's easy. 
But what we do is we fold it in on the ends. Fold it in on the ends. And then all we do is we stitch. Just like that. I stitch, I stitch, I stitch. So that's what I've done here. I folded it in on the ends, right? And I've stitched here, 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 and here. Important step, before you trim off your extra, make sure your book fits. Make sure it's not too tight. Ask me how I know. Last night my book was just a little bit tight, so I had to pull out some stitches. Okay, so just double check on both sides. So I've stitched here and here, just like this. Now I'm gonna trim it, just so that it's not bulky, and I flip it. And so when we were in class, some things that people did extra is they added ribbons or embellishment, or they used those fancy embroidery machines that you all have you have some fancy stitches and some pretty thread and they top stitched along here in pretty thread in colors. Wouldn't rainbow look cute on here because of all of the colors? So you could take some different colors, maybe your favorite color's purple and you could put some purple hearts along there or some purple flowers with your embroidery stitches. So there's so much you can do. You're gonna do that before you sew it into a cover, but there's so many finishes you could do. So after I flipped it, Then I'm going to put my cover on my book, whatever book I'm using, it just slides right in. Slides into both sides. I've got mine quite tight. As you can see last night, I told you I had it a little tight. Make sure that it fits before you trim off those edges. You want it tight though, because you want it to stay on. You want it to fit nice and snug on there. And see, it covers up my edges there. So that's how I make them. There's probably lots of ways out there you can do it. You could personalize. We had that, um, that vinyl, that heat vinyl, remember? And people were cutting out their names of somebody like um, Courtney or Tracy and putting their name on the journal in the heat vinyl. And we have that actually too. So there's lots of possibilities for this. We have kits made up with the black and white, which will have scraps of like the little pieces of the line works to go with it. Or we have the Christmas baking one that has the baking fabric is your feature fabric. You'll get a big piece of that and then you'll get random widths of all this other Christmas one to go with it. So I hope that you like that. Um, you can find these journals in different sizes, lots of times at the dollar store, um, that kind of thing. Tomorrow's demo, talking about gift giving again, is these little box bags. There's lots of videos out there on them. We have um, lots of little kits left over from last Christmas in both the pink and the green, and I'll get those up on the website right away. They have the zipper. They have the inside and outside fabric, Thermalam fleece, and the SF-101 all in a kit together. So again, they're a cute little thing you can just throw in your stash. I will actually have the instructions written out because I did this class. I have um, just instructions and a couple pictures on how to do this, but there's lots of box bag video, video tutorials out there. These ones are not finished. They're just zigzagged or um, zigzagged on the inside or I used my serger to finish them. Ooh, there's a pin in there. Um, but, the, but they're a nice quick bag that finishes up really nice. Sorry, Courtney's telling me to put it down so she can take a thing. Video. They're a nice quick bag that finishes up really nice. And again, we don't always have lots of time to make somebody a gift. This is a quick gift that you can do out of any fabric. And maybe you have a gift instead of um, wrapping it up in paper or something, you want to put it in a nice little bag. I like these box bags because they really keep their shape. 
and you know we did the basic pattern look at that that one's a year old and look at how nice it is it's been bounced around i actually did these up last year under the christmas tree um they look like little presents under the tree and what was really cute the one night I, I got into making these and i couldn't stop and they stack on top of each other too so that's really cute so that'll be tomorrow's video and we'll have those little projects um they're under christmas fun on the website and under gift giving too both of this journal cover and these little box bags and we've got lots more things coming in the next couple weeks so we'll be doing a video a little bit later we have betty stretch here she is um her quilt is moving on to um, the tula pink challenge and so we'll be doing a video a bit later with that because she's here in the shop today thanks